Well, hello and welcome back to Enter the Gungeon. Let's uh, play as the Marine here, who I believe we played as the pilot last time. And so we'll continue on here. You know the standard counterclockwise doohickey. Uh, anyway, I feel like we got really, 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 really just extraordinarily unlucky the last round. You know, we just couldn't get any good guns. We kept munching our guns together only to get worse guns. It didn't end well. But you know what, what they'd... Uh, what that what that game did prove to me is that we do have enough skill now to reasonably beat the first few levels with with just skill really that's 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 if anything what it taught me and so i feel now like i should be confident enough just to be able to blast through these first few levels uh somewhat on autopilot not because we were playing as the pilot but because it's just it's just pretty standard at this point to get through the first level for me oh that was really dumb oh yes but I mean, we we can still get through the first level, but not without our fair share of idiocy. So, you know, that's that's still gonna happen for a while. That's something we'll have to work on. But I am I am seeing that after uh, you know twenty some episodes, we are making some skill progress. You know, that, that's probably pretty good, isn't it? Huh? Getting better at the game. Who could have thunk? All right. Oh my God, this room just keeps going. I hate rooms like this. Just give me one and done, man. I don't need to stay here for eight years longer than I want to just to kill some more enemies. They're not gonna draw me anything more besides money. I don't need this shit in my life. I don't know. Such is life. Ah, that's what I was gonna do, but totally forgot about. I, I apologize. I've my mind's been out of it today. I just spent the last ten hours blowing my brains out but um I was going to look up the secret to finding secret rooms because clearly there's a secret that we have not been able to replicate since our map adventure um so I'd really like to go look that up on some sort of wiki or subreddit and figure out what the hell I could do there because that that appears to be something that I'm not going to figure out on my own accord because I just don't know what to look for what to start with man everything looks the same every time I haven't noticed the, anything out of the fucking ordinary, there's no random chance, like in The Binding of Isaac, to discover uh, secret rooms, because maybe there's some enemies that blow up and explode next to walls, you get lucky there, but I have no idea what to do here. It's just something that may or may not happen. Anyway, I believe we picked up some sort of passive, so let's look at this one. Oh, the shock rounds! Oh, yes, the Link's bullets together with chain lightning. This is probably my favorite passive in the game so far, just because it adds a little more damage onto it, makes things a little more exciting. I'd love, I love to see some exciting passives. This is probably just about one of the only ones so far that we've come across. But as, as now we can, if we get another uh, weapon out of our other chest, we'd be set to go for a little while, because. These, these chain bullets do add quite a bit, and if we can just get, like, a shotgun, or maybe an AK, or, like, an M1911, we'll be, we'll be just ready to rock and roll here. But we still have to go get enough money to buy the other key, as well as find the other chest. So, you know, it's not like we're out of the woods yet. We could always just decide to jump off the edge six times and, and kill ourselves. So, you know, that's, that's, I'm just saying, it could happen. <laughs> I'm not putting it past myself to just uh, go all full suicide on my ass for a second. See, is that a secret room? No, I don't know, man. Do you have to blind secret rooms? I just don't remember or know anything about it. They could be anywhere, and I'm very disappointed. I just want to know. I'm, I'm sure there's some secret to it, like the Binding of Isaac, where it's like, um... It has to be... Or it's usually... Or it has a higher chance, there we go, there's some words that make sense, to, for it to be in a room with three other rooms attached to it. And then, you know, not next to the boss room. I'm sure there's plenty of fucking rules regarding secret rooms. I just do not know. Like, what the hell is that thing? I don't get it. I just have no clue where to go. We need our other key here. So let's teleport back to our shop. We've got barely enough money to get it. That's lovely, 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 blub, blub. You landlubber. And let's hope we get a gun. A good gun. A good gun. A reasonable gun? Yeah. Flash ray? Ah, ah, ah. Um, yeah, the, it's sort of inaccurate, sort of not great damage, but it's better than the pistol. And that's what's important in times like these. <laughs> yeah, look at that. It does have, whoa, fairly good fire rate. That's what it's got going for it in my eyes. 
Maybe it has something to do with this fucking fireplace up here, man. I don't know. Nope. <laughs> Alright, let's go fight the boss with one less blind now. This is how we die. This is how the world ends. Not with my own idiocy, but with... With intentional idiocy, so... Let's fight, Trigger Twins. I haven't fought the Gatling Gun a little bit. I'm, I'm kind of worried that the game's gone soft on me. <laughs> that used to be all we get. Now what you hiding from me, game? The Gatling Gun out of commission or something? Oh boy. Ooh, that was close. Alright. Doing our standard Trigger Twins fight here, which is back into a corner and just try to fight one of them, but we unfortunately rolled right into a bullet there. That was unintentional. And honestly, I feel like it wasn't my worst dodge of all time. I just... I'm so unlucky right now. Oh, God. Okay. Keep, 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 keep out of the way. Keep out of the way. Get out of the fuck zone. We don't want to be in the fuck zone anywhere near the fuck zone. The fuck zone is bad. See, look at this. This is called the fuck zone. <laughs> Let me out. Let me out, daddy. Okay. We've got one down. This one's at half health. That's not terrible. You know, what I realized with this weapon is I have no idea if there's chain lightning effect going on because they're giant fucking lasers. How am I so do, do they chain together somehow? Does, does it make a difference? It's already exploding and shit. I don't get it. We'll have to find out. Oh, but we got the ant gun. Ooh. This fucking gun. Ooh, that'll be exciting on, uh, on, is, is that how you reload an ant? That's right, so one of them shoots fire, one of them shoots other fire, or poison or something. That's, that's all coming back to me. So that'll be a fun one. A fun run? No, a fun one. You're a fun one, you might ask, and I'll say, what are you talking about? I'm the least fun. Alright, let's go. Let's, let's ant some bitches. I don't know what that means either. Yeah, this- No, that one's the oil! And then you reload for the fuego. Ow! Yeah, there we go. Fire, chain, lightning. That's some fucking crazy shit right there. We are about to die, though. Um, unfortunate, huh? Oh, look at them all chained together. <laughs> Just spray it down. Oh, God. <laughs> Holy shit. How could anything be alive besides just surviving like a bitch? There we go. Now he's not dead. Oh, okay. Have a heart back. We're still living. No choke. No choke one time. Alright. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh my. Oh my. Oh, oh lordy. Oh, oh boy. Um, not going great. We've already taken our, our half a heart we just made last round. The ant isn't really cutting it for, for me living right now. Uh, I don't know if we're gonna make it. Uh, okay. We, oh, oh, yeah, just, just tickle him. Just, just tickle him with the, with the oil. Oh, we, we killed him with the oil. Well, that seems a little rude, doesn't it? Okay, a little short of hallway here, and I'm still terrified. I've gone full panic mode. Full panic mode. We're panicking. We're panicking. We're panicking. We're, we're very much panicking. We're very, very much panicking. There's, it's full panic. Panic. Everything's on fire. Run around. Hide in the corner. Don't get lit on fire. Don't get lit on fire. <laughs> Haven't you learned your lesson yet? Don't get lit on fire. Oh, goodness. Oh, it reflected it. It reflected. We're fucked. This is where we die. This is where the world ends. Yep, saw it coming. <laughs> and that's... That's the way we die. To our own stupidity. Alright, well, I might as well go and do another one, huh? Because that one went terribly. I don't know why I thought it may... I probably honestly would have been better off using the fucking standard pistol rather than that fucking ant. But I digress. We're fools. Um... Fuck it, buy monster blood. I don't know what that does, but we'll see. Someday when we pick it up. Apparently we just got an achievement for 79 out of 100 something or others. I don't know what that is, but hey, congratulations us. Okay. Yeah, I, I really do feel like that ant just, just made me take more damage than I could have if I just killed the enemies with a gun. Weird, but... Oh, God! That was lucky. <laughs> I rolled right in between three rows, or three, like, waves of bullets that... Thank, thanks, Mr. Skeletal, for he's give us bad calcium. He gave the enemies bad calcium. Thank you, Mr. Skeletal. He made our lives easier. I promise to drink milk. 
uh, so that one day you may use my body as skeleton. Okay. Good luck. We are in this weird dining hall. Don't you love dining halls and their stupid fucking cafeteria tables? What a bunch of shit. Uh, <laughs> and picnic tables. Oh, jeez, those are just the worst. With their benches, and they fit multiple people. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> just give me a standard table, goddammit. This is awkward. Alright, cro- Shit, I, I scrolled one too many past the crossbow. I was trying to get that- That dope as hell reload going on, but no, I, I fucked that one up. Oh, hit him. Rip bat aroni. Ripping bat aroni. <laughs> okay. We're just doing our standard old floor one. You know, despite last, last round going pretty terribly, at least we can say we beat the first round, which isn't an accomplishment by any standards, but hey. It's progress. <laughs> it's just really shit progress. <laughs> Alright, where, where, okay, this room was totally empty. Fuck you, suit of armor. Suits of armor and mannequins have always fucking freaked me out ever since Scooby-Doo, man. Like, inanimate objects that should be inanimate, but then suddenly have a person inside them freak me the fuck out. I hate going to department stores. Mannequins scare the shit out of me, and I don't, I just don't know why. They're so fucking soulless and shit, and they're ready to fucking murder me at any fucking moment. Like, they're gonna come to life and strangle me. God, Jesus. Anyway, we got the Phoenix, which I believe is the weapon that lights people on fire? <laughs> Let's check. The muzzle flare from this diary. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's this gun. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh-huh. Why not get a weapon f from the same class as the ant gun that just is totally functionally pretty useless because it doesn't do any damage besides occasionally ticking them on fire. These might be the most pointless weapons of all time. Like, I would much rather just use the fucking rusty sidearm we have here. There's no point to using the fire. It's just you walk up, you light them on fire once, you back away and let them burn, and, and that doesn't result in anything. And we need keys. I want... I need like three other keys, okay? That's what I've learned. Give me all the keys. I don't know how we're gonna find them, but we need keys. We need we need money for keys from the shop. That could be useful too. So either, either or. Money or keys. But either way I need them to open up the other chest and whatever that uh, fuck zone area was that needed a key and maybe that chest needed a key. I couldn't quite tell, but... Oof. And I would love to get there, get some free loot. Oh man, get us a little bit ahead of the curve if you feel me. I wish I could sell ammo, that'd be fun. I wish I could sell this fucking stupid ass gun. Alright, oh no, oh no. This might be a, no, no, what am I talking about? I was going to say this might be a gun where the Phoenix come in handy, but what would I do? I'd walk, I'd do exactly the same strat I'm doing. I'd just be in tighter circles, making it harder to dodge and doing less damage than a regular starter pistol. That's just a sad, the sad state of affairs that our current weapons are in. God, we might as well, I wish, I really wish we could just get a fucking muncher whenever we want it. I really want to munch that shit up. I really like the, the idea of the muncher, putting two guns together to get one other one, random one. It'd be fantastic, most of the time. As long as we put it in shit guns, we might as well get shit guns in return. At least it's not a CSGO trade-up contract. Um, alright, let's get, um, I don't, I've shot this wall like 800 times, I'm surprised it hasn't broken yet. It is made out of like 8 foot thick stone though, so I'll, I'll give it some credit for its structural durability. Are you gonna fall in? Are you gonna go for a little swim in the kiddie pool? What's up with kiddie pools, alright? It, it, why, why are you putting your fucking, like, a toddler in the water and shit if they can't swim? First of all, and if you if you don't know what I'm talking about by like kiddie pools, I'm referring to those weird pools that are in the shape and like depth of hot tubs, but in fact are shallow as shit and not heated. So so like it might as well just be a hot tub filled with regular water. And it's like why would you have one of those? Either your kids are gonna learn how to swim fairly quickly, I believe. Or you're just throwing your fucking babies in the fucking shallow end, and you're just like, well, whatever. Either way, I'm pretty sure you'd be supervising. So, I don't know. I don't... I just don't know. 
I don't get it. Hey, we got a free key. That's very valuable. And we should have enough money to buy another key here, so we can have two keys. How am I going to get a third key? I don't know. Alright, here's, here's what we're going to do. Because I don't know... We, we're going to come in here first to our, our little blocked off area and see if this one requires a key. It did require a key and we got a mustache. I don't know. But we also got an extra armor and free um, free hard container, which was going to be inevitably better than this one. But if we get an extra key from the from the boss here after the fact, then that is just fine and dandy with me. But I guess first things first, we check what the hell does a mustache do. Chance to heal when money is spent. All right, makes sense. Oh, hello, Gatling Gal. Nice to see you again, huh? Mm-hmm. You just fly in and do what you do. I can't skip this every time. Fun, 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 unskippable little cutscenes. All right, let's go. We got this. I believe in our stupid little rusty sidearm. We've we've had to fight this fight before with a rusty sidearm, so we can do it. It's the Gatling Gull. I fought him like 800 times. I should have this pattern down by now, but that doesn't stop me from being dumb and taking damage. Also on the plus side, we got the room, my favorite room for this fight, which has just a bunch of barriers and ways to protect myself naturally, rather than having to dodge these stupid fucking sprays, so we should be generally okay here, as long as I don't don't go full dum-dum. Uh, hello. Goodbye. I'm hiding over here now. Whoa, whoa! <laughs> Don't run into. Oh, okay, you're doing it again. How'd it going? Oh, oh, bye. You're jumping more than Monstro. Okay, can can we to hurt himself with his rockets? That'd be cool, but I don't know if it could happen. All right, he's back to spraying. He's got. We've got him half down. We still haven't taken damage. That's that's pretty nifty. Doing it again, and and back to shooting. Well, I'll be back here, Gatling Gull, if you just want to quit being a yitch. <laughs> Ring around the rosy, you're a dumb dumb bird, stupid birds. I hate birds, not not in the general sense that birds aren't are nice and pretty and whatnot, but the fact that they just shit on my car and that's exclusively their function in my life. Bunch of jackasses. What am I gonna do? See a bird in the bird feeder? What the fuck ever? I don't know. But you know, at least hummingbirds are nice because they at least pollinate shit. What the fuck do crows do, man? They get in the way. I, um, I turned around for a second because I thought I just pissed my pants because I thought someone was behind me. Turns out no one was behind me, but we did end up taking damage there, so whoops. That's, that's how we take damage. It's my own fear of, of absolutely everything getting to me. <laughs> but on the plus side, if we don't take any more damage, we'll get to see if we get a health upgrade from not taking heart damage. Well, no. No, we don't. Well, that, that solves that question, doesn't it? Get fucked me. <laughs> um, so it turns out you do not get a health upgrade if you only take armor damage, which is just unfortunate. You have to take no-no damage, and that's that's going to be a tough one. Too bad I looked behind me, and I'm still not dead, so there's, there's that on the plus side. Well, let's roll down with our stupid little Molotov launcher here and see how well this is going to go. Gungeon proper. Floor two. Whoops. <laughs> Kinda missed that one a little bit. Shot the fucking wall in front of me. Oh yeah, just just reload that. Oh man, it takes six years, but everything's on fire. This honestly does more damage and, and just like higher DPS than the fucking ant gun. Stupid fucking ant gun. That's that's not gonna cut it, is it? Not with those flying guys. Uh, excuse me. Are you stuck on a table, Mr. Shark? That's okay. Let's let's get this. Oh, never mind. He's not the last one. Uh, gotcha. Oh, he teleported. What a yitch. Who teleports away from burning? I'm I'm pretty sure from my years of experience playing WoW, you should probably stand in the fire. That's that's what I've learned. Oh, where did you come from? And how did all of your bullets disintegrate immediately? That was confusing. Anyway, we'll just let him burn to death because we're sick sadistic bastards. Good work, everybody. Nice, nice room killing, just passively while everything is on fire. Love it. Oh yeah, sure. Let's do it again. Let's just do this every room. This seems to work out pretty humorously. Oh no. 
Uh, only problem with this one is we miss. Uh, we kind of missed that one, too. Quality work, me. Alright, there we go. He's on fire. Get this other book, bitch. Oh, I see what that first Molotov did over there. It was the one that was used as the leadout. So when we procked his movement, he just ran right into the other fire. The value. Um, and totally intentional skill. What is this? Fuck it, I'm buying it. And the key. Alright, what does this thing do? It is a passive item. Armor every floor. Oh, the gauntlets of the Amulet Knight. Come on. Come on. Cormorant, whatever. Um, so yeah, it's just one of another one of those air armor every floor. We've had a few of those before, like the leg armor piece or some shit like that. You know, I like armor every floor. It's it's regainable health. It's pretty good. It's pretty useful in a lot of situations, like when we die every five seconds. Uh, so yeah. Uh, but we did spend all of our money, so that should make things interesting. Hey, look, we got a key that used. Ooh, triple crossbow. Three is greater than one. <laughs> The triple crossbow represents the pinnacle of multiple bolt technology. This one art alternates between slowing bolts and triple volley. Why would you want the slowing bolts? Alright, we need a golden key to talk to the ghost dad bullet played by Bill's Cos Bill 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 Nye the Science Guy, no, Bill Cosby in the famous movie Ghost Dad. Oh god, that movie. Um I believe I just shot the wall. Oh, oh. I have no idea which is this are you the oh and then it goes back to sink ah it's like the ant I see I see it's like the ant all over again so that the first three shots are just single and then the next three are re or triple shots so you know what why not make the gun interesting to use just just alternate stupid fucking bullshit oh god uh oh whoa hello can't see me now I can see you uh oh it does, I just wish it just triple shot the entire time. It's not like it has enough ammo to warrant this fucking switch off bullshit. I just want... Oh, we got an extra blind. That's what we got from the dog. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. And then the game's gonna try to argue that the fucking slowing shot's gonna make it up for that fact that we do so little damage with it, but no, it doesn't. It doesn't make up for shit. It's still shit. Eh, eh. Look at me, I do so much damage. ka -cha. But I really do like the idea of triple bolt technology in real life. That'd be pretty stupid. <laughs> do you think anybody ever made, like, a ballista that shot, like, triple arrows? Like, a Roman ballista, you feel me? I mean, I know there was the, uh, Chinese invention that, like, shot, like, a fucking shitload of fucking flaming arrows out of a fucking trunk of some carriage or some shit in some sort of weird artillery fashion you know that, I know that exists but like what about a ballista because ballistas shoot big big bullets or arrows I suppose but yeah that'd be funky <laughs> just curious um oh let's get the ghost and let's get these guys and we're gonna die because we only have like one heart and armor you know casual and we're gonna run out of ammo and I keep terrifying myself thinking there's somebody behind me. There's nobody behind me. I don't know why this keeps happening. Hello? Nobody's behind me. <laughs> it's it's the middle of the night. Nobody's here. Okay, you can let it go. We're gonna die because you're terrified of yourself. <laughs> Until the day somebody's actually behind me and then we're actually dead. So rip me. I am peel now. Alright, let's get our other chest. And we got a glass cube. Ice cube. Okay, damn. <laughs> so close. Should have just gone with a more common answer. Items recharge while active. Item active items begin their cooldown period sooner and cool down faster. Well too bad we don't have a spacebar item, so whoop de doo. And this thing still does nothing? It's golden. Yep, nothing. Uh got like one more area to go to before we jump off a cliff. I'm just gonna get rid of that fucking stupid ass crossbow. I'd really like to munch the down the triple crossbow and uh and the phoenix gun, because those things are just totally useless. But we're fighting uh, Mr. Snack. We'll see if he burns as good as everything else, even though he is made out of, like, stone. And slithers around a lot, so that might be hard to hit. Also, I just don't think it does any damage. That... Oh, no, there we go. We got him with the burning. The burning sensation in your, in your crotch with the gonorrhea. Uh, yeah, you really gotta, like, hit the wall and... 
Good work, everybody. Glad that round went really well. Uh, but thank you for watching this episode of Enter the Gungeon, and I will see you next time when hopefully we won't be such fools. So, yeah.